Let's uh, let's talk right quick about Quinn Ewers, South Lake Carroll High School quarterback. This is supposed to be his senior year. Uh, looks like he is going to be skipping his senior season and going ahead and enrolling at Ohio State. Now, we've seen this in basketball. Kids reclassify all the time, right? Never that big of a deal. I just never imagined that we would see it in high school football, right? And especially in Texas. So the way that Texas high school laws are set up, you cannot play and take name, image, likeness. Now you can, I believe that you can do it now with football, with college football, but not for high school. And yours has a million dollars worth of NIL endorsement deals just waiting on him to sign. So from that aspect, I can understand why you would go ahead and leave early and collect your checks, right? I've never been against kids making money. The part of it that I don't like is the fact that this is the second high school kid, like highly rated high school kid out of Texas that is skipping the senior season and prepping for college or going directly to college, whatever. There there used to be, and I understand this is old man mentality, but there was a time when there was a little bit of purity in the game where you knew you had to play four years of high school and then you go to college and then you go to the NFL, right? Now, the NIL stuff has completely shifted all of that. Uh, the other interesting thing out of this is Texas was going to try and change these NIL laws to where high school kids could do it. But the, the Texas legislature cannot vote on this now because they are in special session over the voting rights stuff because the Democrats have left the state and they are in Washington, D.C., and it's this whole blah, blah, blah. So they can't even call... Uh, they can't put it on the docket anymore. And basically, August 3rd, which is next week... Ewers would have to have this one class done, and he's on pace to get it done by then, and he will graduate, and he will go to Ohio State. I, part of me hates this because it just makes everything about money, and it's just another sign of it. But I understand that that's the way that everything is going now. What uh, what were your thoughts when you saw this from uh, Pete Thamel? Well, the first thing that I realized was um, this guy did play four years of high school. He's he, 18 already. Yeah, he's 18 already. I, I don't think he played his uh, uh, freshman year or whatever. He, right, he how, how many freshmen start at Texas? A very, very Texas. Few. Okay, very few, right? So he went through the exact same college experience then, high school experience. Yeah. He, he played three years being the starting quarterback at this big Texas high school. That's – I don't I'm, – I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't care. Like, your senior year is supposed to be this special thing. Listen, everybody tries to make it something – so much bigger than it is. I, honest question. Right now, you could have made a million dollars, or you could re go do your senior year. What would what would you have done? I'd make the million dollars. It's not even a question. Okay. Right. It's not even close either. My senior year sucked. Okay, I took four classes, and then after four classes, I went to work at a brake pad factory. All right, I breathed in asbestos for hours and hours and hours at a time. All right, when yeah. it it had no heat and it had no air, so when it was cold outside, it was thirty four degrees inside. Right. I, and I when went, it was I hot outside, it was 105 inside. Yeah. So, and yeah. there was nowhere to escape those things because you couldn't go outside or inside to heat up or cool off. Right. That's what I did for high school. Okay. And I had a, I got paid really well. And you're talking 2001, 2000, yeah. 1999. Yeah. I was making like 18 bucks an hour back then, eh, like six, 16, 50, 17 dollars, topped out maybe around 18. That was amazing money for a guy my age with my skill level and education level. Okay. So yeah. if you could tell me that I could forego all of that, make a million bucks, I'd have done it. So while I do think high school is big, if you're one of these kids that got held back, and he's basically been in high school for four years. He just wasn't classified as a senior, whatever, because he got held back. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I, I will tell you that there's going to come a day and a time where one of these kids is going to sit out and it's going to hurt their recruiting class. Like the the running back that did it because he's yep. trying to save his body for the miles for, man, we're having a different conversation. If that guy don't, if you don't have major college football recruits coming after you, willing to let you enroll early, guaranteeing, basically guaranteeing and signing your contract for, for your scholarship and getting you NIL money your freshman year, your immediate year, then I would say you're dumb to do this. 
I don't think that running back has any of that at all coming his way. No, I, okay. I agree because I mean he's ranked like number eighty two. He's he's a four yeah, star he's, running back, five star right. some stars, all so, that good stuff. So, so we're having so so saying we've got two guys doing this mm, a little apples and oranges situation yes. here. This kid now the argument that Pete Thamel wrote about and a lot of other people are bringing up is that he comes from means. All right, yes. his family doesn't need the money. He's already I don't know that they're independently wealthy, but they're very well off. His dad is in oil and gas, and we just assume that those guys roll around like Scrooge McDuck in money. All right, <laughs> he's not hurting. Okay, but that's irrelevant. Just because Agreed. your daddy's got something, don't mean you got something. Depending on what his daddy's morals are and the way his daddy lives his life and does things, if I had a shitload of money, I'm not giving it to my kids. What what good is that? I'm just gonna piss it away. What uh? So, do you think Ryan Day had anything to do with this? Well, yeah. Why would you not? If you're the <laughs> school that he's committed to, hundred percent. Because until he shows up, a lot of other schools could come get him. Now, here's the thing that's weird. All right, they're starting a freshman quarterback that has basically we assume is going to play for three years before he goes and gets into the NFL, right? Yeah, Stroud. Well, Stroud was technically the backup last year. He just didn't. Uh, he didn't attempt any passes. He just handed the ball off. So, but regardless, they've got three guys on the roster that have not attempted a pass yet. This is a winnable job for Ewers right now. No, it's not. No, it's not. So. He's not. He's not. I don't think he's going to come in this year and compete and win the job. That I don't think will happen. I, I, I think they've already got the quarterback that they're going to have. Whoever it is, Ryan Day knows the answer to that. By the way, yeah. Um. And 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 I think I think he's going to go for it. The the issue is if one of these guys turns into be all world, now this kid's got to be looking for the door, right? Yeah. Because you got you got a you know a Joe Burrow situation where I came here, I didn't beat the other guys out, but I'm still the best quarterback in the world in my mind. So now I'm going to go find a place to play. Yes. Yes, you're right. You are right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.